fellow Cameroonians, as we bid farewell to 2023 and welcome the dawn of a new year, 2024, permit me to address you with my heart on behalf of the Social Democratic Front. 2023 has been tough for our party and for all of us. We faced a significant loss, the passing of a giant of Cameroon's democracy. The memory of the times we spent together with our emblematic chairman of blessed memory, His Excellency Nijan Fundi, remains vivid, filled with his unwavering spirit and his incredible dedication to our people. He was a beacon of courage and his legacy will forever inspire us in our journey towards a free and prosperous Cameroon. But amidst the challenges, we showed our true colors. We organized our party convention, a vibrant display of our commitment to democratic practices. The excitement and energy at the Yaoundé Sports Complex, where we gathered to elect our National Executive Committee, were historic. It was a powerful moment, a testament to our dedication to democracy and determination to bring about the change our nation deserves. Fellow Cameroonians, our brothers and sisters in the Northwest and Southwest regions are going through a time of immense pain and suffering. Losing family members every day, as well as being subjected to fear and insecurity. I've met resilient individuals who have faced unimaginable hardships due to the ongoing conflict. I have had conversations with families torn apart and children yearning for education. The sufferings of our people have touched my heart. And I want you to know that the SDF stands with you shoulder to shoulder in solidarity. This issue is a political issue and will only be solved through a political solution. As a party deeply rooted in these regions, we continue to indicate to the powers that be that our good offices are available to help bring about a stop to this everlasting bloodshed and violence. I have as well been actively following up the atrocities of the ongoing Boko Haram crisis in the far north. Ushered in by poverty, underdevelopment, water scarcity, malnutrition, and the growing risk of famine, this crisis too continues to hit hard our compatriots in this part of the country. And as a consequence, they're going through terrible living conditions, fear and insecurity. All this must end. No single Cameroonian, be it in the Northwest, the Southwest, or in the Northern regions, takes up a gun at the cost of a decent job or a small business. These boys and girls are recruited from poverty, joblessness, and hopelessness. As a nation, we have a paramount duty to correct this social injustice. These crises are nothing less than a testament to the Bia regime's catastrophic failures. And we all know that you cannot use the same people who caused the problem to resolve it. The elections ahead are our next immediate chance to collectively repair the injustices that have been at the cornerstone of the ongoing armed conflicts and violence all over Cameroon. We will never support violence, but we all understand that without social justice, there is no peace. The SDF stands for social justice and equal opportunities. We stand for power to be in the hands of the people through strong democratic institutions and federalism. We stand for peace and a shared prosperity. The consequences of the BR regime's catastrophic failures are severe. Over 8,000 Cameroonians have lost their lives in the ongoing armed conflicts, of which 99% are innocent civilians, women and children. More than 1.2 million others have been displaced, of which about 900,000 are internally displaced from those three regions. And the worst tragedy of this crisis is the fact that the education of over 700,000 children has been brutally disrupted for seven years and going.
an entire generation sacrificed. Economically, 2023 has been extremely tough for many Cameroonians. I lived your struggles and I felt the impact firsthand. I met hardworking models who shared their worries about the rising prices of basic commodities. It broke my heart to see families struggling to pay for basic things like fish, rice, oil, or even firewood. Millions of struggling Cameroonians battled helplessly to contain high costs of living. I sat down with a young graduate from the university who narrated her arduous and disheartening journey of job search. Countless applications rejected. Her attempt to start her own business met with numerous challenges. No access to funding, burdensome regulations, and numerous and high taxes. Her story is the story of millions of young Cameroonians. In 2023, Nearly 9.3 million compatriots who constituted our active workforce were in a situation of social insecurity. Most, if not all, of our youth had no choice but to resort to self-reliance and precarious informal jobs. We had instances where over 8,000 candidates competed for 40 government positions, revealing the despair of our youth. Food insecurity is hitting at the doorsteps of 2.3 million citizens and unfortunately, the regions most affected by this are the regions suffering from armed conflicts. They have been declared economically devastated by the Bia regime. As if this is not enough, the regime created an estimated 87 new taxes this year to continue feeding the privileged while an estimated 8,000 billion CFA have been embezzled by the same individuals over the past 10 years. While this is going on, about 27,000 of our children suffer from irreversible severe malnutrition and over 400,000 compatriots are homeless. Our country is in such a bad state that we actually need an urgent humanitarian response to take care of over 2.7 million vulnerable people. We don't even want to mention our right to electric power, pipe-borne water, safe motorable roads, and decent jobs. In fact, our country is at the verge of collapse. I know that in times like this, the easy way out is to give up. Maybe you are tired of the direction this country is heading to and you do not trust any politician or political party to lead us to a bright future. Today, I'm asking you to continue to believe in the SDF's ability to lead this country out of these dark times and build it back better together. The SDF has a clear vision for our country. A vision that focuses on alleviating the burden on our citizens and ensuring a brighter future for every family in our nation. This vision advocates the allocation of at least 40% of the state budget to local development and the setting up of at least one industry per division. A vision that encourages entrepreneurial initiatives and fosters innovation and business growth. A vision that takes full cognizance of the imperative of an ecological transition. The SDF has a plan to make long overdue changes so that our economy actually makes life a little easier for everybody. Whether it's the market woman trying to raise her kids on her own or the family farmers struggling to make ends meet from their hard work or the student wondering how to pay next year's tuition and rents. But at this time, the president who rules our country and those who enable him have shown that they don't believe in these things. They don't believe in our right to have a better life. They don't believe in Cameroon. Dear compatriots, the socio-political and economic transformation of our country requires collective efforts. A coalition of determined, the willing and it is not just about politicians. Our civil society organizations, religious associations, workers, trade unions must take center stage in this endeavor. I have spent considerable moments with these amazing individuals and leaders, 
sharing concerns and seeking blueprints on the way forward. They constitute the backbone of our nation, the driving force behind progress. That is why the SDF has established a functional partnership with trade union confederations in Cameroon to create the Cameroon labor movement, Kalamu. And this is just the beginning. We are working to build a real, strong, progressive coalition in our country over the coming months. A coalition based on a shared vision and clear areas of collaboration. Furthermore, we will not succeed in liberating our country by cutting ourselves off from the rest of Africa. This is why the SDF is engaging with the PPACI in Côte d'Ivoire and other sister parties in putting in place the convergence of African people. This sovereignist movement will set the tone for our diplomatic action. In 2023, with the parliamentary minority, we were able to obtain quite some significant results, like the battle for the payment of arrears due to state teachers, the long-awaited operationalization of the Deposits and Consignment Fund, CDEC, or the calling up of the bar exams, to mention just a few. Dear compatriots, fellow Cameroonians, the year 2024 marks the eve of crucial elections in our country. I understand why many of us might have lost faith in politics and the electoral process. The current rules have been manipulated in favor of the oligarchy hiding behind the CPDM, making it easy for them to maintain their state capture. However, there is a crucial point to consider. The president and those in power who benefit from the status quo rely on our frustration. They understand that they cannot win you over with their policies and records. Consequently, they aim to make it extremely challenging for your vote to make a difference and convince you that your vote is insignificant. This is how they secure their victory and maintain the power to make decisions that impact your life and the lives of your loved ones. It is through this method that the economy continues to be captured by the small group of individuals in power. This is how violence continues to reign all over Cameroon. We need to change this. We need to change the system in place democratically. Since 1990, the SDF has been on the forefront of electoral and institutional reforms in Cameroon. We will not relent until ELECAM becomes a truly independent election body until the electoral system is completely digitalized, we will continue to fight for the introduction of a single ballot and a reduction of the voting age to 18. While we engage in this fight, we call on you not to lose hope. Continue to register massively in the electoral register. If you have moved from where you were registered or you are a victim of the ongoing violence and have been displaced, meet the local ELECAM branch through an SDF member or directly to get your voting station changed. Experiences teach us that when citizens exercise their right to vote and participate in the democratic process, they can shape the governance of their country and contribute to its progress. Today, there is nothing more important you can do for your children and time is against you. Do it as soon as possible. Thank you all for your unwavering support as we step into the coming year. Let's hold on to hope, determination, and the utmost belief in the change we can achieve. Together, as one united force, we will build a Cameroon that future generations will be proud of and will be proud to inherit. I know that I can count on you. You know that you can count on us. We are together. Dear Cameroonians, I wish you a happy and prosperous New Year 2024. God bless you. God bless Cameroon. Thank you.